This is Jim Crowley. I'm the men's and women's cross country coach here at St. Joseph's College. I've been here since 1998, which is 23 years. Uh, this is my 41st year of coaching. The most biggest change has been size. When I started, we had one athletic director and a secretary. We had just one trainer and we didn't have the OFC, so all sports came out of the dancey. We actually had most of the sports. Obviously, we've added lacrosses and uh, men's volleyball, but we all just did it out of this very little dancey area. It was a nice situation. Obviously, that's how it all started here a long time ago, but it was a wonderful experience early on. It was great. My most fond memories would be the first championships for each. Uh, men's and women's. Uh, the women won that happened to be the first year of the Skyline Championship, uh, which would be 99. Uh, and the men won first time in 2008 up at Bard. We had the conference meet and they won. My other favorite memory would just be for the women twice. We have actually swept the meet. We went first five or six places and that doesn't happen much in the whole country because obviously it's pretty rare that your five kids are better than anyone else in the conference. And, We've done that a few times. The other thing that we're most proud of, I'm saying we because it's the athletes, all the assistant coaches and myself, is just our overall strength. The uh, women, in the 21 years that they've been meets, we've never done worse than third. And the men, since we've won in 2008, we've never done worse than third. And sometimes there's 12 teams in our meet. So we're proud, obviously, of winning some championships, but we're also proud that we don't have too many bad years. I mean, third out of 12 isn't what we want, but we're proud that that's the worst we've ever been. The alumni are a really important part of our program. They're involved in different ways. We have an alumni meet that they come to and race. Uh, we have an alumni dinner where they come and uh, they meet the team, but they also get to see each other. We actually have it at a local restaurant so they can stay late and really get together. And the last thing I want to say about alumni, just as an example, we have an alumni, his name is Mike Lombardi. He lives in Michigan. He schedules his vacation every year so he can come and run the first week of the season with the team and just kind of show them what he expects from St. Joseph's College Cross Country Runners. It's something he loves to do and he wants to get across the expectations we have, the alumni have, that we'll pass on to the kids. Our recruiting is, we are going against the D1 and D2 schools in this area. So when we recruit a kid, they are looking at Stony Brook, they're looking at Post, they're looking at Malloy. So we have to be good enough so that the good runners can come to us if it doesn't work out at Stony Brook, if they don't have the, the scholarship money for them. There has to be around 10 colleges on Long Island. Let's face it, most of our kids are gonna stay at home. So we're going against those 10. And for us, the key is to have a good enough team so that the top kids can run for us. Because if we get really weak, we can't be recruiting against those top teams. So right now, like I talked to a kid just yesterday, and they were looking at Stony Brook, but if that doesn't work out, maybe they'll come to us. And that's kind of our recruiting. We go out and get everybody. We want the slow runners, the fast runners, and everyone in between. But if we want to stay good, if we want to win championships, we need that top level kid.
for us in recruiting, again, we be, we'll be honest, if a kid has interest, we want them. But what we're looking for is a child, an athlete that loves running or can develop that love because we're gonna ask them to run a lot of miles. Some programs, some of the top programs on Long Island, they run it already, but some of them don't. So like one of the boys this year has been doing 70, 75 miles a week. If you've only been running 20 miles a week, that's a shock to you and you could get hurt if you don't get used to it. So what we're looking for is a commitment. Come every day, put in your mileage during the summer, and just continue to be willing to work hard. If we get that, that's all we really need. Talent is great, but it's really about the commitment to the team and to the mileage. This kind of goes back to an answer earlier. If we want to compete against the better teams, the, both, the good Division 3s and of course the ones and 2s, we need to show people that we can win. So a few years ago, when we were lucky enough to win both the men's and women's ECAC titles, other years when we've won the Skyline, it just gives an overall impression to the kid from Long Island that, oh wow, this team is good, I could run for them. I have high goals, but when I come there, there'll be someone next to me training. It doesn't do us any good if we have one athlete who's a superstar, but he has to run every workout by himself. So we do need to have all the good kids around him. And I think by winning the ECACs and other things like that, it makes a difference. Our good GPA comes out of that we've recruited good students. Every once in a while a kid changes here and goes from an average student to a great student. I have that a few times and I love when that happens. But generally speaking, I'm fortunate the kids who come here are strong students. And then when they become part of our program, they're standing around other strong kids. When we go to a meet, if we're, like when we go to the NCAA regionals and it's a two day meet, one of the days we are sitting around the lobby of the hotel doing homework. They do it on their own. I'm not telling them to do it. They all say, oh, let's come down and we'll do our homework together. The athletes, and that's true for a lot of athletes here, not just mine, they understand what they're here for and they really do get the concept of balancing athletics and academics. And all we do is show them what the other kids in the team are doing. I don't say much other than, of course, if there's a problem, but the athletes show them what the, the young kids are expected and they do a great job.